can produce this kind of hallucinatory effect, which uh, uh, is of uh, enormous uh, uh, hypnotic and uh, suggestive, suggestive importance. Simultaneously, a stimulant, a narcotic, and a hallucinogen, which seems unlikely in one substance. But uh, the point is that in several, if you applied several different substances, you could get almost all of these results even now. Uh, and the really interesting thing about the new chemical substances, the new mind-changing drugs, is this, that whereas, uh, if you look back into history, it's clear that man has always uh, had a, a hankering after mind-changing chemicals. He has always desired to take holidays from himself. Uh, but the, uh, uh, and this is uh, the most extraordinary fact of all, is that every naturally occurring stimulant, narcotic, sedative, or hallucinogen was discovered uh, in before the dawn of history. I don't think uh, there is one single one of these naturally occurring ones which um, modern science has discovered. Modern science, of course, has discovered better ways of extracting the active principles from these drugs and, of course, has discovered numerous uh, ways of synthesizing new substances of extreme power. But a number of these new mind-changing substances uh, can produce enormous revolutions within the mental side of our being and yet uh, do almost nothing to the physiological side. I mean, you can have a, an enormous um, revolution, for example, with um, LSD-25 or with uh, the newly synthesized drug uh, psilocybin, which is the active principle of the Mexican sacred mushroom. Uh, you can have this enormous uh, mental revolution with no more physiological revolution than you would get from drinking two cocktails. But there, there is a, evidently a whole class of drugs affecting the uh, central nervous system, which can produce enormous uh, changes in, uh, in sedation, in euphoria, in, uh, in energizing the whole mental process, uh, without uh, doing any perceptible harm to the body. And in this sense, uh, this represents, it seems to me, the most extraordinary revolution, uh, a euphoric which would make people thoroughly happy even in the most abominable circumstances.